today I learned that I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so what I mean by that is probably several things, but uh, today I learned that I can just post these videos or any videos on Facebook without linking them to YouTube, which will take away the uh, necessity of clicking multiple times to find anything. So um, I realized that I, I'm pretty sure most people um, have those links just because, you know, monetiz monetization stuff. And I am not even remotely close to being able to be monetized on YouTube anyway. So why in the world would I make it more convoluted in order to see these videos? So I will now be posting these videos both on YouTube and on Facebook directly. That way it's just click play and you're all set. Um, I should have done that a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Uh, I realized it when I was posting up a video on Facebook earlier this week, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, that's so funny. But um, also I'm gonna obviously use this, this video again for uh, practice for the color uh, grading for the ACES thing. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit less than I did last time. Like I pushed it pretty hard um, to get that uh, that Daisy Jones and the Six look that I was going for. I, I think I nailed it, which is pretty cool. But um, also, as far as Daisy Jones and the Six goes, I highly recommend you watch that show. It is on Amazon Prime. Uh, I finished it last night. Uh, it's a ten episode series, and um, it's it's got one of the best. It has one of the best. Uh, final episodes, finales that I've, I've ever seen actually. It's really, really well done. I, I realize it's a book that they um, uh, transitioned to a TV show or you know, a streaming show. But yeah, it's, it's great. So I had always liked the guy, I think his name, I know his name's Sam, Sam Coughlin, I think is how he pronounces his name. He was in Pirates of the Caribbean 4, which is my second favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie, behind the first one, uh, which is controversial when it comes to me and Felicia because uh, uh, she's a big Orlando Bloom fan and he's not in that one. Um, anyway, um, but I've been a fan of his since then, and then I did not realize that the uh, main character girl, whose name is in real life is Riley, uh, I don't know how to say her last name, it's like the K, it's like cow or co or coo or cough, I'm not sure which. Um, she <laughs> she is uh, Lisa Marie Presley's daughter. I had no idea. Uh, when I like things, I tend to um, research the heck out of them after I've, I've seen them and after I like them. And I, I, I am DB'd the crap out of. Uh, uh, Daisy Jones in the in the six this morning, and uh, it blew my mind that uh, she is Elvis's granddaughter. Um, great actress, by the way. To me, it doesn't look a thing like her mom, which is crazy. Which is why I would never put the two 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 together to, you know, equal out that that's the daughter of Lisa Marie Presley. Lisa Marie Presley, but that's pretty crazy. Um, she does a great job, and so does the Sam guy. And so does all all the characters in that show. They do such a great job of being the characters they are. Timothy Olyphant's in it, and he is underrated in the show. He should have been given more credit for what he does. He does a fantastic job. So check it out. I don't know why I'm an advertisement for Daisy Jones and the Six, but I just really like the show. Um, also, uh, speaking of music, because that's kind of what I do, um, I have recast the role, the, the role I need to recast for my music video for, um, for Whispers, and um, we have finally set a date. We're going to film it on Saturday, April 1st, which is this coming Saturday. Right now it is Monday, so I've got a few days to uh, set everything up. But um, I know exactly how I want it to be, and I'm hoping to be able to uh, describe in detail how it's going to to direct. Basically, I, I need to. It's my first foray into the idea of directing something that's not just not me in my own head figuring out as I go along. Um, and the two people that are going to help me out with it, um, uh, I'm hoping that I can give them enough direction that's not just like me being a you know, wishy-washy, do this, do that, without proper explanation. Uh, so that'll be, it'll be fun, it'll be interesting. And we're gonna do that at 7 p.m. on Saturday, April 1st. I also have a, a fun little uh, little surprise on, on on April 1st as well, the Saturday. I'm excited for that, because I've been planning it for like a year. Um, that's not even a joke, I've been planning it for a year. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'm really excited about the music video. I'm really excited about the color correction stuff I'm doing with this or color grading. Um, and also, I uh, f finished and um, sent out um, the um, instrumental score that I, I, I recorded, I made, whatever, uh, made and recorded. Um, I found that it's much easier to mix and master a 
uh, song that has no vocals in it uh, because the song itself is telling the story and there's no no need to uh, fiddle with vocals um, but also uh, that uh, that song is the one you've been hearing the entire time on this video uh, it's on the you know, underneath side of this thing it's it's a uh, it's called um, Forgive This because it was originally a five second intro part for Forgiveness, the song that I re-recorded the vocals to, but I realized it was just too much um, for that song. It didn't need to be there. Like the, the pop acoustic intro that I already had was great for it. I, I, it was gonna overdo it, but I liked the little idea that I had so much that I just took that and I expanded it to a three minute and 11 second um, just instrumental score that kind of tells a little somber story uh, and it's pretty neat I like it a lot um, I also learned today I also learned that I can't um, send out tracks that are instrumentals as soundtracks on any of the uh, streaming or you know streaming services being music um, because it's not it wasn't made for TV it wasn't made for a video game it wasn't made for a movie um, I think there's a fourth one as well um, so it has to just be an instrumental and you have to choose a genre, and I've got no idea. It's literally it's piano and violin with a little bit of organ underneath it. Um, so I just had to choose a genre. I chose alternative and singer-songwriter because there was nothing else that really fit the profile for the instrumental itself. So it is an instrumental of that. So that's that. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I've learned I've learned a lot in the last couple days. Oh, also, so I, I dyed my hair. I, I, I'm not shy about that. I've been dying my hair since I was 23 years old. I went, I went gray really early. Um, but it's, it's, it's interesting. Like, um, it, it gives me kind of this, like, I suggest it for anybody who's gone gray, like, or is going gray or whatever it is. I mean, I'm just always happy I have hair, but it kind of gives me a, a, a semblance of youthfulness to look in a mirror and, and see, you know, my, my normal old hair color. Um, so it's kind of an interesting psychological thought process. It's like, I was go. I mean, I always go gray, obviously, but I start. You kind of start feeling older, and like almost run down. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just I'm a weird guy with with you know the way I uh, I figure things out in my head. But um, yeah, but dyeing my hair, which I've gonna I've done for almost twenty years now, um, it kind of gave me like a, a different kind of energy when I uh, when I was done with it. I, I dyed it last night, and then. Um, this morning you just kind of like you kind of look in the mirror like oh okay i you know it kind of gives you that youthful feel again or something like that. In fact, i don't know maybe i'm sounding like an idiot but uh yeah so i've been dying my hair for a really long time it just i don't know it's regular brown like it usually or used to be but it, it does give you kind of a feel of an energy that you may not have if you allow yourself to feel old and maybe going gray makes you feel old i mean maybe you know, made me feel a little bit old, I guess, and I didn't realize it until after I dyed my hair. And I'm like, huh, okay, so just the idea of seeing something that isn't gray gave me a semblance of energy. So maybe try it out if you're going gray, I don't know. Um, also, my, my mustache here, so I haven't used any pomade in it for a little bit because um, I'm running out of pomade and I need to, I want to, I want to use it, I need to use it for the, the video, the music video. Um, because it's that um, culmination of the, the trilogy that I've, I've been making, and uh, I need the, the twisty part, you know, to be twisty, and if I run out of the pomade, I'm not gonna do it, because I actually, I'm probably not gonna have this mustache for much, much longer. I was planning on cutting it after I did this video. Um, granted, the video, I, I plan on recording or filming it, like, a month ago. So I've had this, this uh, funny little mustache, which I like a lot, but I wanna try something new, facial hair-wise. Um, but I've had it for such a long time now, but I'm, I'm running out of pomade, so now it's just kind of bushy little little thing until Saturday when I probably use the rest of my pomade for it. Anyhow, that's about it. But uh, it's funny, the, the learning process of things is uh, interesting. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the instrumental song. Uh, it's up on YouTube as well. Uh, I just posted it on there. It's also on my Facebook page. Um, and it'll be on like Spotify and all those different things on April 7th or it should be by April 7th. I mean, it's a bit of a rush job because um, typically you want more than like three or four weeks to, to have something ready. And I sent it a couple days ago and I'm trying to get it by April 7th. Um, 
is a bit of a rush for some of those services services but uh yeah it's a it's it's the proper day to release this, that song so that's why i'm doing it that day anyhow uh hope you have a great night or day whenever you see this i'm posting this darn thing straight to to uh, facebook because i learn new things every day that i should already know <laughs> all right see ya